Hello LaunchCart users, it's Joshua and I'm back with another video on how to add a custom domain to your LaunchCart store. To do this, log into your LaunchCart dashboard, then go to Settings, Domains, and you should land on this page. This is where you manage all of your domains associated with your account. Now the first domain that's going to show here is your default store URL. This is going to be a URL that ends in launchcart.store, except this first part is going to be customized to whatever was used when you created the store originally with LaunchCart. This domain is your default domain. It comes free as part of the LaunchCart service, and you can use it forever. However, if you're one of the uh, more experienced uh, users or if you want to have a better brand, then you're probably going to opt in to use a custom domain name. If you want to do that, all you need to do is click on the Add Custom Domain button and then select which domain type that you need. Now you can either add a root domain. Now a root domains are what you purchase when you buy a domain name. An example of a root domain is launchcart.com or maybe launchcart.org or launchcart.net. These are all examples of root domains. However, if you already have a website built, maybe it's a WordPress blog and it already exists right now using your root domain, then you don't want to use that for your launch cart store because it will affect your current website. If you don't want to affect your current website, then you're probably going to opt to create a subdomain. Many people will create a subdomain like store dot their domain name.com. So for example, in my case, our website is launchcart.com and I might want to put a launch cart store on a subdomain called store.launchcart.com or shop.launchcart.com. This way it's not going to affect my main website and I can still link from my main website to my launch cart store. So you just need to tell the system which one you want to add. Do you want to add a root domain or do you want to add a subdomain? Based on your selection, it's going to ask you for your domain name. So for example, let's go ahead and put in a root domain. I'm going to call this one Joshua's uh, Shoe Store. Actually, I'm going to say joshshoestore.com. I'm going to hit next. And then from this screen, it's going to tell us exactly how to configure this domain inside of our domain registrar. Now, I know this sounds a little bit confusing. It might look a little bit confusing, but it's actually very simple to do. You need to log in to wherever you purchased your domain from, and you need to go to the DNS editor. Once you're on that screen, you'll need to either create a new record or edit your existing one. And the type of record you'll be editing is your A record. And then under step two, you'll either need to create a C name right here, a C name record, or edit your existing one. And here's all the information that you need to do. Once you've made these changes, you simply check this box and you hit save. Now what's going to happen is the system, the launch cart system, is going to Go to your domain name, it's going to check and see if it's configured properly, and within 2 to 15 minutes after you refresh this page, hopefully these statuses for your DNS and your SSL will be completed and verified and active. These will turn from these orange icons here to green messages that say verified and that say active. Once that is done, you can mark this domain name as your primary. A primary domain name is the domain name that's going to be used for your store. It's going to replace any other domain names that you have here. And any other previous domain names listed, like this one, will now become redirects back to your primary. So, once again, I don't want to be too confusing, but it's very simple. You add a domain name, you select which type of domain name you want to add, you follow the instructions on the next screen, make those changes on your provider, and then you come back here, refresh this page after a few minutes, and then make it your primary. It's very important that you use this button to make it your primary, because if you don't do that, your store will continue to use your original default domain name. And this domain name will just become a redirect. And you can see that right here where it says redirecting. So 
that's it. If you have any questions, um, continue to follow through our help articles. We have more in-depth help articles. And I always tell people that if you're not comfortable doing this, you can reach out to support. We can help. But more importantly, you should reach out to your domain company, who you bought your domain through, and you can ask them to make these changes. They will make these changes on your behalf. That's a very uh, typical uh, thing that support can do or contact your webmaster and give them those instructions. If you ever need to find those instructions again, come back to this page and these links will give you the same instructions as before. It's that simple. So that's uh, that's all for today's video. Stay tuned for more.